Today we are going to learn about powers and exponents. So let's take a look at what power is. Well, power is an expression. So an expression is just one side of an equal sign. So for instance, if I had three fourths, or three to the fourth power, this is an expression, or three fourths is an expression as well. As long as I don't have an equal sign in here, we're good. This is an expression. And anyhow, a power is exactly this, an expression written with an exponent. So here's my exponent right here. That's our exponent. And a base. So our base is the 3, the larger number. And so what this represents is 3 to the 4th power. Taking 3 and instead of having to repeat multiplication four times, we can use this power notation, or this exponential notation. And so we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That's what 3 to the fourth power represents. And if I wanted to multiply out these numbers, I'd group the numbers together. Like, for instance, 3 times 3 is 9. Another 3 and 3 make 9. And 9 times 9 makes 81. So that's what a power is. It's just an expression with an exponent and a base. Well, here we're going to write the power represented by each geometric model. Well, here we have a square. The side's 4, the side's 4. And so what they want is the area. And so if we are going to show a power, that means we're talking about the area of something. In this case, because it's two-dimensional. Because area is when you go ahead and multiply the base and the height. And if I do that, I would get 4 times 4. But instead of writing it as 4 times 4, I want to use a power. Well, since I have 4 repeating, I can write this as 4 to the second power, because there's two 4s being multiplied. And so that is my answer. So when you see the problems on tonight's homework that ask you to write a power, they don't want the number, the answer, like here, this would be 16. They want the power that would represent this. Well, over here we have a cube. Now, mine doesn't look quite like a cube, but that's what it was supposed to be. And so this side is two units. Notice how there's two units going this way. This side is two units, and this side is two units. Now, if they are talking about a power, they're not talking about the surface area. They're talking about the volume. So the volume is when you take the different lengths of sides here. We've got the base or the length, the width, and the height is a good way to represent this. And so I'll just write down length times width times height. And all those numbers are 2. So we're multiplying a series of 2 three times. And so instead of writing 2 times 2 times 2, if I was to write the power, it would be 2 to the third power. Well, taking a look at this next problem, or these next set of directions, it says to simplify each expression. And so when we're simplifying, we want to come up with a, an answer for this. So for instance, 7 to the second represents 7 times 7, which is 49. And so that's what we're looking for there. Here, this is negative 2 to the third power. Now, it's negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by another negative 2 because the negative 2 is inside these parentheses. So these parentheses are very important to follow when you're looking at finding the value of an expression that is a power. And so when we multiply two negatives, we're getting a positive. But then we still have one more negative to bring down. So in this case, because I had an odd number of negatives, notice how the exponent is 3 and it's odd, it gave me a negative number. Now this one's a little bit different. You get the same answer, but it's just coincidence here because it doesn't always work out. And you'll see an instance where it doesn't work out as the same answer next time. This means the opposite. The opposite. The opposite of 2 to the third. That's what that minus sign means. Whenever you see a minus sign, it always means the opposite. So for instance, up here I'll give you an example. 2 is a number. The opposite, the opposite is negative 2. So you see, I could say 2, and is the, op the opposite of that is negative 2. So if I have a minus sign in, in front, that means the opposite. So the opposite means like negative 1 being multiplied by 2 times 2 times 2. See, it's 2 to the third power. This is what is to the third power. It's just the 2, not the minus sign. The minus sign is separate. 
And so that's why I put this negative 1. I wanted a number, and 1 times a number won't change anything. So that's why I put the 1 there. But I wanted it to be there so you could see that minus sign was still there attached to a number. So I end up multiplying these three twos. I get 8, but then times by negative 1 gives me negative 8. So that's the difference. This one was negative 2 to the third power. This one was the opposite of 2 to the third power. So you'll see a difference in answers with these next two problems because this one represents negative 3, negative 3, negative 3 times by one more negative 3 because it's in parentheses. Notice the parentheses force us to multiply the number inside the parentheses four times because that's what order of operation says. Do the parentheses first. That is a negative 3 and we are multiplying that negative 3 four times. Two negatives gives us a positive, two more give us a positive, two positives give us a positive. 81 is the answer. But here, this is not negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. It is the opposite. Negative 1 represents an opposite. So that's what this negative sign means. Now, I'm going to be multiplying the four threes together because that's what it is. It's 3 to the fourth power and then times by negative 1. So another way, to, again, I could show you this to you is negative 1 times by 3 to the 4th. That's the same thing as this. It's, it's a shorthand notation of what I wrote initially there. So negative 1 times by, we know this is 81, gives us negative 81. Notice the answer is different. So whenever you have the minus sign on the outside, it's going to give you a negative number because it's always the opposite of. Well, here, this is the opposite again. So it's like negative 1 times by a half times by a half times by a half times by one more half because there's four of them. So again, it's like 1 half is to the fourth power, but then take the opposite. When you multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators. 1, 1, 1, and 1 all get multiplied to make 1. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 makes 16 times by negative 1, which just makes negative 1 16. Well, over here we've got negative 2 to the, or negative 2 thirds to the second power. So it's negative 2 thirds, and then I'm going to multiply that by another negative 2 thirds. Notice the negative sign this time is inside the parentheses. So I do need to multiply, make sure the negative sign is with the numbers when I'm multiplying them. So here I have an even number of negatives. So on top I get 4, negative 2 and negative 2 make 4. 3 and 3 multiply to make 9. So 4 ninths is our answer. Now, here we have a 5 to the first power. Well, what's that? Well, anything to the first power is just the number itself. 5 in this case. Well, moving on to another set of directions. Write each number as a power of the given base. And so, in this case, they want us to come up with the power. So, here we have... 81, and now this is the answer, and the base is 9. So 81 equals 9, and then to what power? That's the question. That's what they're looking for. So how many 9s multiply to make 81? 9 to the second is what you're looking for. So really what they'll say, if you, you look at an odd problem in the back of the book, 2 would be the number they're looking for, or you could just write down 9 to the second. But this is the number that they're looking for as the answer in this case. Write each number as a power of the given base. So that's the unknown value. Or we could just say 9 to the second power. And the next one over here. Here we have 100,000. So there's five zeros. Now that's important. Count the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The nice thing about a base 10 is the number of zeros is going to be the exponent. When we're talking about just base tens and, in this case, 100,000, that makes five zeros that need to be multiplied together. So we have five tens being multiplied, so 10 to the fifth power. Here we have a base of negative 4, but we want to get negative 64 as the answer. So notice that the base is negative 4, so I need to put the negative 4 in parentheses. Now, how many negative 4s make negative 64? Three of them do. So there is our answer right there. But notice that the negative, par those parentheses needed to be there because the base is negative 4. Same thing here. See, the base is negative 6, so I need to put negative 6 inside the parentheses. Oh, jumping the gun there. Let me fix that. Giving you the answer before I go over it. Negative 6 is the base. Now, what exponent would I need to make positive 36? 2. 
because we only need two negative six to multiply to make that 36. Well, let's take a look at a word problem that we have here. Jan wants to predict the number of hits she will get on her web page. Her web page received three hits during the first week it was posted. If the number of hits triples, triples means that we're going to times by three. That's what that means. Every week, how many hits will she uh, will the web page receive during the fifth week? All right, so she receives three hits. It triples each time. So it's like three times three times three, and then it keeps on going. So after five weeks, let's see, so three to the fifth power, because the first week she got three. Second week it triples, so we're timesing by another three. So this would be like week one, week two, week three. If I did another one here, this would be week four. One more, this would be week five. See, it's three being multiplied five times, and so three to the fifth power. So you multiply this out, we see that these two make nine. These two make nine, and we got one three. So two nines make 81, and then times by three gives me 243. So there is our number. And so that's what we're looking for there. So those are the types of problems you're going to see on tonight's homework. Good luck.